Good day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 6 of my multiplayer series against Old Crow Balthasaur. We're playing the 1916 line of Africa campaign, which is part of Strategic Command World War 1 Empires in Turmoil DLC. Now, last turn I did leave some of the Portuguese units a little bit exposed. Let's see if he takes advantage of that. Uh, Okay, that's not ideal, but he is ret he's retreating. I'm not sure he realises just how strong the German side can be right now. Because there's a lot they can do if if you're aggressive with them. So far he's been very, very cautious. Now, whether that's the right move or not, we'll soon find out. But I do think it's worth pointing out. Uh, that's a hill. Beautiful. Can start cutting them off then. you win. Not sure. Probably just gonna have to chase at some point. Not sure why you're letting me just walk into Tanga. It, it really is possible to like fight for this and then can really slow the British down here is retreating a lot. Probably further than he needs to. Um, to the point I'm actually a bit concerned I'm missing something because it's not normally this easy. Uh, it'd be nice to know if he had more than one unit here, because if I put something there, but there is something here, then that would go badly. But if there's not, then I cut this off, it's on one supply, That that's curtains for that unit. Um, now I'm the one being cautious. Wow, the, the risks for a mistake as the British are much more severe than the German side because the, the Germans for unit gets cut off, you can build another one there pretty cheap, whereas if, if the British make a mistake and the Germans can sort of like grab a town in the rear, they can just run off and you're chasing them for the next 20 turns. Hello. Oh, you moron. Whoever led that charge is getting fired, because he's useless. Um, uh, okay, that is... That is astonishingly poor fortune there. <laughs> but I don't think he has anything else down here, so... Might not matter. Um, hope it doesn't matter. Ooh. Here's a thought before I forget. 
can I buy a new one? Yes, I can. Let's do that. I want an army. I'm going to pull you back. You need more supply. Uh, what's next turn going to look like? How about now? That's better. That's actually pretty good. Um, pull you over the mountains. Put you there so I can see what, what he's got. Maybe a bit too far forward again. Oh well. Okay, you've got a bit of a line, but you might just let me let me take stuff. He and he seems pretty desperate to avoid a fight in most places. So you have to watch this carefully. Put you there, and then you're on five. Next turn. Maybe I'll leave that in the rear while I focus on other units. You bring the guns forward. I don't really have enough troops to actually break through yet. Um, we saw what happened on turn one. Even if everyone sort of concentrate in front of him and prepared attack and everything, nah. Wasn't enough, so... What do you have here? You have guns. I would like to do a landing somewhere. Um, they're not cheap, but... If I can do one, that would be quite nice. I'd also like to seal off your... um. this group. I don't think there's anything down there. We take the towns and we deny him the option of running around like a bandit in Portuguese territory. That's going to pay dividends down the line. Because the, the Portuguese territory is by far the um, most exposed as far as him just running off and capturing five towns in a row the the British and the um well I don't know if it you can get that one from the Belgians um what's that town called Costmansville that's the only realistic target most of the time I found um we'll do that now I'm still blocking the um if he does have something there I'm not sure if this will count as cut off or not I hope it does suppose you'll tell us next turn, because I'll be able to look at what his supply is. Bring you forward there, entrench him. I don't want to leave this flank unguarded. I suppose, would he even be able to get to Biarramulo? Um, if he took that, and he didn't like his odds here, he might be able to if he scouted it properly. But you'd have to take that one first. What about from this approach? Um, so, suppose he's there. One, two, that's only control four. Five, six. So I suspect I'd know about it before he could actually do it. So I'll bring you down. That gets us a supply down here. I want to knock out Usambura and um, then Ujiji. I'll have two HQs contributing to that. That'll be quite handy. Uh, you're not allowed to entrench. And you are led by a clown detachment that's got no meaningful strength. Put you there just to prevent something crazy from 
going on a run. I'm not sure he could actually get up there, but hey, it doesn't hurt. I'm not using the plane for anything else. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We won't be able to just spike Luigu. There, there's a bit of a supply dead zone around here. Um, so really all I want to do is just sort of cut it off and the Portuguese will clear whatever's south of this line eventually. Because they, they struggle to actually do anything moving north, I found. Um, they, they can do it, but they don't contribute a lot. So I'll concentrate them on going, going west. Weed Harvin's probably the only position that'll be strong, but I don't think he's even sent anything down there. My game plan to the Germans is often slip a couple of units from this group and from the um, garrisons here, get them down south as quickly as possible, but I don't think he's doing that. I, I think he's going for a more, um, more of a turtle strategy, probably going to fortify these mountains very heavily. Um, make me fight my way through them, whereas I I tend to play a more um, disregard the territory and just sort of make it chase me around everywhere. I, I don't know, both strategies can work. Um, be very interesting what the future holds. Um, future, turn or two, let's get brigade out of Belgium. Do I... I have an artillery, but I don't have a brigade coming. I have got some research there, going to do alright. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to dump another point in artillery, but... Well, I want to have the men to actually capture the stuff. So far, I don't have enough of them, so... Artillery will come when it does. It's not super essential a lot of the time this campaign, because... I'm not going to be fighting a a trench line that's, you know, eight hexes long for the most part. There's there's a lot of room to manoeuvre, particularly the early part of the game. Later on, I might slow down a bit, but he might also decide that's the time to go for a run. Uh, if only I could remember what, it, what he had in here. I don't think it's strong, but I know it, I'm pretty sure he has something there. Alright, have I moved everyone? I think I've moved everyone. Uh, looks like it. Alright, hit end turn. You die of dysentery. Good job. Not meant to do that, but there we are. Alright, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.